A cryptocurrency wallet works in a similar way to a regular bank account. A wallet saves your private and public keys, which grant you access to the blockchain. If we simplify it, the blockchain network represents all the coin owners across the whole globe which are interconnected to each other. The coins aren't actually stored in your wallet, but the keys in your wallet give you access to your coins within the blockchain network. Each blockchain network keeps records of all transactions made and the users' balances in the public ledger. You can imagine the transfer of coins more like the change of the name of the coin owner in the public ledger. In a nutshell, your public key serves as an address that others can use to send you cryptocurrencies. Your private key is what authorises a transaction sending your coins to others. We'll never ask you for your private key, and you should never share it with anyone. Wallet addresses tend to be around 30 or so characters long, and consist of letters, both lower and uppercase, and numbers. When you're making any transaction, we highly recommend that you copy and paste your address from your wallet instead of retyping it. Also, bear in mind that some coins, such as Bitcoin, can have what is called an HD wallet or deterministic wallet. This means the wallet generates multiple addresses for receiving coins, and all of these addresses are connected to the same master key so that the coins sent to them end up in the same wallet. Each cryptocurrency has its own public ledger, which means that if you're planning to invest in multiple cryptocurrencies, then you'll have multiple different keys. Since there is no central authority which keeps records of all the balances and transactions which take place in each individual cryptocurrency network, there's no ultimate provider of cryptocurrency wallets who can set a wallet up for you. Anybody who has access to your wallet's private key or passphrase has full access to your coins. That is why you have to set the wallet up by yourself and make sure you keep all passwords, passphrases and private keys to yourself. Preferably, write your passphrase down on a piece of paper and store it in a secure place. If, for example, you lost your phone or your computer broke, or for some other reason you lost access to your wallet application, you'll need your passphrase to regain access to your wallet. If you lose your passphrase, you'll not be able to access your wallet or your funds. They'll still be yours, of course, but they'll have zero value to you since you can't access them. No one is able to retrieve your passphrase, not the makers of the wallet, not us, not anyone. Please don't lose your passphrase. There are several different types of wallets, software wallets, hardware wallets and paper wallets. If you want to learn more about the different aspects of each type, you can find out more in our Beginner's Wallet Guide article. In the case of software desktop wallets, we recommend using Exodus or Jax. For Android and iOS phones, we suggest using Jax. In regards to hardware wallets, Ledger or Trezor devices are highly secure and highly recommended throughout the industry. If you'd like to know how to set up any of the mentioned wallets or where you can find your wallet address to receive coins, please click through to one of our video tutorials.